Welcome everybody to Bobby Boom Entertainment Slash Sports Channel. Bobby Boom's Ado Follow and Subscribe, guys. Ado Follow YouTube. Ado Follow Subscribe Facebook. Ado Follow everything. Twitter Bobby Boom's eighteen and on Facebook Bobby Boom's nineteen. Ado Follow YouTube Bobby Boom Entertainment Slash Sports Channel. So the Yankees baseball in general, you know, it's gonna be a long season. The season is almost over. Baseball season is almost over. Playoffs will be starting in October. A lot of teams fight for wild cards, division, the waiver wire is over. A lot of trades, you know. Yankees try to add players, McCutcheon and the shortstop, you know. And then, of course, the Giants traded him. And then now the Dodgers add Madsen and David Freeze. And then, of course, George Stallington, the Indians, and then the Brewers. All these big trades are brewed. Gio Gonzalez and then Sedino and then Grandison. So all these teams trying to win, get the wild cards, get the division. It's going to be a fun end of the season, guys. It's going to be really fun. The Yankees, disappointing. You know, they, they split the series with the Tigers. They should have won these games. Easy schedule. They're struggling versus bad teams. They lose two games from the White Sox. They lose the series. Now they split with the Tigers. Seven games. They're three and four. When you figured they should go six and one in seven games, right? They're struggling versus the bad teams, relying on home runs. You know, having problems hitting the scoring position. The same problem again. That's the Yankees for you. One dimensional. They got to try different things. Small ball. Now they're going to play Seattle. And uh, they're playing Oakland first. And then they're going to play Seattle. So on the West Coast, they're playing. So we'll see what happens. Oakland, the way they've been playing. They're trying to fight for the wild card. They're four and a half games out, I think, right now. And then the, play, and then the West with Houston. The Houston Astros looks like they're starting to play good. So it's going to be really interesting what happens, you know. It's gonna. It's a long season, but the season's almost over. One more month. We'll see what happens. The Yankees got to start playing better, beating the teams they're supposed to beat. Now they have a harder schedule, so we'll see how they do in Oakland. They got to face Chris Davis and Matt Chapman, the third baseman, and then their young plays. They have Jet Lowry. They still have, and they got other young plays. They're pitching. They added Rodney Familiar, so it's gonna be not that easy this series. It's gonna be a real test for the Yankees. Oakland, and then they have to go play Seattle. So they have to play. They're going to go against Cano and Cruz, James Paxton. So this is going to be interesting what happens this week. This is the real test. The Yankees want to win the wild card. They want to go far in the playoffs. They got to start hitting more consistently, hitting scoring position, do more different things, move runners. You know, a lot, you know so far, you know, this week is very uh, frustrating watching. But, you know, they have to maybe they get DD back. That would help a little bit. Gary Sanchez just came back. McCutcheon so far he hasn't looked that great. So maybe it's gonna take some time. Maybe to you know start hitting and get, with all their lineup together. It's gonna take time to build the chemistry together. You know all these new players back in the lineup. So it's gonna be very interesting when they get their full lineup together. If they can start hitting as a team because right now they're very inconsistent. Some games they look like they're gonna hit. Some games they don't hit. They can get shut out for five six innings. You know, they they don't hit in score position. They strike out a lot as a team. That's the way this Yankee team is, you know what I mean? So maybe they'll finally start doing different things. I hope Aaron Boone will manage a little bit differently maybe. Now with the bullpen, it looks like the bullpen's getting worn out because he's been using it the whole year. So maybe they could try different things with the bullpen. Maybe, you know, give guys a little rest because Chad Green, they've been using a lot. Britton, they've been using a lot. David Robinson, Batances, Chapman is still injured. They said he could be out the rest of the year, Chapman. So that hurts a little. Now they got to use a lot of their guys. They got Tommy Canely. They just brought up a couple guys from AAA. So the September call up. So we'll see what happens. You have a lot of injuries, but they're getting all their hitters back now. You know, the pitches, you know, CC's pitching uh, today. So we'll see what happens with CC in Oakland. Anything's possible. And uh, he's from Oakland, uh, CC. Uh, California, so we'll see what happens with CC, and then hopefully Severino comes back and is the ace like he used to be. You know, Severino, the first two months, he was an ace. He was pitching like an ace. He looked great, dominating, striking everybody out. I thought he was going to win Cy Young, Severino. That's what I thought. In the first two months, I thought he was going to win Cy Young. I was really surprised 
that uh, the last two months he's been going down. His command, his fastball command, leaving pitches up. His command wasn't good, not jamming guys inside enough, leaving, making them too comfortable at the plate. Just like yesterday with Lance Lynn, he's throwing too many fastballs. They were making these guys too comfortable at the plate. I was a little worried with Lance Lynn, you know. Lance Lynn, you know, they got him from the Minnesota Twins. He had a five-year A. I thought they uh, they should never gave up Tyler Austin. I like Tyler Austin. He, at least he hits home runs. He has 16 home runs. He would have been a nice uh, insurance with Greg Bird, but now they don't even have much insurance. They got Voigt. Voigt is so-so. He's all or nothing. He strikes out a lot. That's what Voigt is. So that's the problem with, the, you know, the Yankee team. Hopefully McCutcheon can start hitting and be his old self, but who knows? He's still 31 years old. Maybe change the scenery. We'll give these guys some time. Those are the positives I see. Now they're playing Oakland, Seattle, uh, Seattle and Oakland. So all these uh, problems, you know, they have to play tougher teams now. They're going on the West Coast. They start off with Oakland. So we'll see what they do versus Oakland. This is an important series. They want to win the wild card. Hopefully they can make the wild card six, seven games because you don't want to be uh, losing that first wild card. You want to play at home in your home ballpark in the first wild card. That's the things I see, the most important. Hopefully the Yankees can start hitting the scoring position, get more balance out of this team. Maybe Boone can manage a little bit different in the bullpen. Maybe uh, Zach Britton will come back from his Achilles injury. Robinson will be the ninth inning closer until uh, Britton is fully healthy. And then Batances, will ha they'll have to make sure they're careful with Batances, keep him in a setup role. I don't think he could be a closer. He can't deal with pressure. He throws a lot of pitches as a, a reliever. He strikes out a lot of guys, but he walks a lot of guys and his control. Some days he could have great control. Some days he can't. Ha he doesn't have good control. You know, that's Batances. You don't know what you're going to get. That's why I'm, you can't really try a guy like that as a closer, you know what I mean? So he's better off as a setup guy. He's he's better off set in the eighth, and then you got maybe Robinson in the ninth, then the seventh inning you could have Britain, and you still have Green in the sixth. And, you know, so hopefully they manage a little bit differently. You know, hopefully they, these guys stay healthy the rest of the year. Playoffs start in October. It's very important that all their plays stay healthy. They're getting all these guys back from injury, DD, and they got Sanchez. Already back, so it's most important. Hopefully, Greg Bird could do something. So far, he's been a disappointment, Greg Bird. He's finally been healthy the last two months, but he just doesn't do anything. He finally hit a good shot yesterday. He almost hit a grand slam last night, uh, last uh, afternoon, Greg Bird. So that was interesting. He almost hit a grand slam. So, he, you know, he could have he hit the ball hard, but, you know, Greg Bird has been a disappointment this year. They're not getting no production out of first base. I think they're almost last in the league in production first and right field because the judge got injured. So that's another thing. Will judge come back at the end of the year with the injuries and the risk problem and all that? That's the most important with the injuries. So we'll see what happens with the, all the injuries. Guys coming back. They got a tough schedule now. They're finally playing uh, the, fir the first three. They're playing Oakland. Then they're going to play Seattle. So this is going to be interesting The next uh, this whole week. And then uh, October, the playoffs. It'd be interesting against Oakland in the wild card. Then the Red Sox, you know, they could have got uh, ground on the Red Sox. They beat it would have beat the Tigers and the White Sox. They could have had at least uh, been four games out of division. Let's be realistic. They would have won this week against the Tigers and White Sox. The Red Sox have been struggling versus the White Sox. The Red Sox, uh, Yankees, it could have been four games. But, you know, they don't beat the teams they're supposed to beat. Now it's still seven and a half games. And then they have to play uh, the Red Sox in September. So this is very important that they win these games. And it's, the schedule is harder. They go on the West Coast. So the Yankees better start hitting better, scoring position, start relying on home runs, more balance on this team. They're getting all their injured players back. So there's no more excuses with the injuries. They have their 35, 34 games over 500. So now they're getting all their plays back. So there's no more excuses. If they can't beat these teams this week, Seattle and Oakland, they don't deserve to make a wild card. They have to beat Oakland and Seattle. If they really want that wild card, there's no more excuses. They got all their plays back. Most of them, Didi's coming back by Friday, Saturday against Seattle. So that's the most important. All these injuries are really hurting their offense, but they still they have an easy schedule. They should have won all these games, you know, but, you know, they're a very inconsistent team, and they're one-dimensional. So hopefully they change their philosophy, their strategy, Boom manages a little bit different, and we'll maybe uh, we'll start winning these games. And we get the wild card, face Oakland. We'll see what happens. Right now, it looks like the Yankees uh, are going to get the first wild card. Oakland get the second wild card. And then, of course, the Central. The Indians got the Central since the beginning of the year. So we're not even going to talk about the Indians. They had that lockdown. The Houston and Oakland are still fighting for the West. I still think Houston will get the West. 
Oakland is still fighting, but Oakland's a young team, inexperienced. They have the injuries to Oakland. They upgraded their bullpen, so it's going to be interesting what happens. The Red Sox still a good all-around team. I like the Red Sox are just a good team too. Mookie Betts and J.D. Martinez, MVP. Two of them should win MVP. One of them. You can't go wrong with any of them. Mookie Betts hitting over 350 average, on base over 400. Steals, good defense. That Mookie Betts is a superstar. To be honest, if you you could argue that Mookie Betts is just as good as Mike Trout. If you look at the numbers and Mookie Betts' age right now, and he's on a winning team, Mookie Betts, I would say he could be just as good as Mike Trout. Mookie Betts, underrated. I like that Mookie Betts, man. I, great player. All around, five tools, good player. I can see why the Red Sox are so good. They're hitting score position. You know, they, they beat the teams they're supposed to beat. And J.D. Martinez and Mookie Betts, they're good plays. I'm not going to lie. That's the truth. I watch all the games on at-bat and all the games. They ju- they have a very good team. Sale is, had a good year. Price is actually having a decent year. Purcell is having a decent year. So, you know, they have Devers. They had an injury a little bit. They put Sale on the DL with his shoulder. So maybe they're wrestling for the playoffs because he breaks down a lot. So that's very important with all these injuries, you know. So we'll see what happens. I think Houston will get the West. Oakland, the wild card. Yankees, wild card. Then we'll see what happens in the playoffs. You could have the Yankees and the Red Sox in the first round. ALDS. The Red Sox have the best record in baseball. They could definitely get the ALDS and face the Yankees in the first round. And then it could be, uh, it's going to be interesting, you know. And then the Indians. We'll see what happens with the Indians. So this is going to be interesting. Uh, Indians, Houston in the first round. Yankees and Red Sox in the first round. That's what I predict. The Yankees are all around. They they are better in Oakland. They should get beat Oakland in a wild card at home, right? Especially at home. Severino hopefully steps up in the playoffs, and that's what I predict. You know, we hope. That's what I think should happen, but you never know. In a one-game wild card, anything's possible in the playoffs. Anything is possible. So it's going to be interesting. Uh p- season. The season's almost over. The playoffs are starting. It's going to be really fun what's going to happen. <laughs> And then we got the NL, we got the West, you know, we got the Dodgers at first place now. I can't believe the Dodgers look like crap. The whole year, they didn't look good. They added Machado since the Machado trade. They weren't looking good. Now, over the the last three games, they swept the Diamondbacks. So now uh, they have a... Uh, in first place, one game over the Diamondbacks and Colorado Rockies. So the Dodgers in first place in the West now. So this is going to be interesting. At the coming down to the end, Dodgers, Colorado, Diamondbacks fighting for the West, and then the the wild card with the Cardinals and the Brewers. All these teams fighting for wild cards. It's crazy. And then you got the Central, the same thing. The Cubs and the Brewers fighting with each other. The Cubs look like they're going to win that division. You added Cole Hamels. Cole Hamels has been great for them. He had a horrible season with Texas. He goes to the Cubs. He's like Verlander of last year. Verlander was horrible last year. He goes to Houston. Now he looks like an ace again. Cole Hamels goes to the Cubs. He looks like an ace. So now they have Cole Hamels. And they got uh, Daniel Murphy, another good trade. So Cubs making good trades. Brewers made good trades. Granison, Gio Gonzalez. They added Scope and Mostakis. So the Brewers look like a really good team. They really look like they're going to win it all. So it's going to be interesting what happens at the end of the year. You got the Braves. And you got... Uh, the Phillies, the Braves look like they could win that division. The Braves have a good young team. Acuna and Ozzy Abbas and Freddie Freeman and Nick Makakis. So they have a lot of good young players. They added guys, too, uh, from the Orioles. They added Kevin Gosling and O'Day. So they're trying to win, too. A lot of good moves, man. A lot of teams trying to win. A lot of injuries in baseball, but uh, these teams make trades, make waiver moves. They want to win. Good young players, good young teams. So it's going to be interesting what happens at the end of the season. Teams fighting for wild cards, teams fighting for division. The teams, the real uh, division I really want to look at would be the West. The, the NL West is going to be interesting. What happens with Dodgers, Diamondbacks, and the Colorado Rockies, and then the wild cards. The NL wild cards. It's, te- it's like five teams fighting for like two spots with only three, four games out. And it's only uh, only a month left. So this is going to be interesting what happens, guys. So that was it, guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe, Bobby Boom Entertainment Slash Sports Channel on YouTube, on Facebook. Add or follow, Bobby Booms 19 on uh, Twitter, Bobby Booms 18 And we'll see what happens, you know. It's going to be interesting. Interesting off-season. Se- it's going to be uh, interesting what happens with all the off-season moves and trades in Las Vegas, Harper and Machado. So, guys, we'll see what happens during the season. We'll see what the Yankees do versus Oakland, Seattle. And I'll talk to you next time, guys. Yeah, yeah.